So much has changed in cryptocurrency over the past few months. Let's go over the top altcoin projects in the crypto space today. And I'm curious if the coins on my top 10 list are the same as the coins on your top 10 list. What altcoins are on your top 10 list? Here's my list of the top 10 altcoins in the crypto space today. Coin number one, making our list today, although these are in no particular order, is Algorand. Algorand DeFi is booming. If you are a subscriber to our channel, perhaps you're already in the know as to why. If you have yet to subscribe, here's what you need to know. Liquidity is flooding into Algorand's DeFi ecosystem. The total value locked on Algorand hit 270 million for the first time today. Hivemind Capital deployed 25 million worth of capital in Algorand DeFi, giving the ecosystem a liquidity injection. Several other catalysts have helped Algorand boom ahead of other projects, but the rise may be short-lived due to the macro climate. If you like Algorand, give this video a like. On to coin number two. Altcoin number two making our list today is Zilliqa. Zilliqa is highly undervalued, particularly when it comes to awareness. It's an alternative layer one to Ethereum, but it doesn't get talked about as much as a Cardano, as much as a Solana, but they have tons going for them, including these two big milestones or future milestone. Zilliqa Taps, former president of the CBOE Europe, Mark Hemsley, as their chairman of the board, and also they're preparing to transition into proof of stake consensus model. So Mark Hemsley is a big get for them. Zilliqa Research LTD, the developers of the Zilliqa blockchain, today announced the appointment of Mark Hemsley as the company's chairman of the board. Mark Hemsley was the president of CBOE Europe and the executive vice president of CBOE Global Markets. So this guy is highly connected in the legacy world. If you are excited about Zillica's future, give this video a like. Of course, Hemsley is joining the board of Zillica Research as the layer one protocol as Zillica prepares to transition into Zillica 2.0 proof of stake consensus model designed to make the Zillica platform more cost effective and energy efficient. Altcoin number three, one of the blue chips in the space is Avalanche. Now don't say you understand Avalanche unless you understand this big upgrade that they just implemented and what it's going to do for their platform. Avalanche subnets can now let validators stake using the subnets native token. So Avalanche subnets can now let validators stake and earn rewards with the subnets own native token due to the implementation of the BAMF upgrade today. The upgrade provides subnet creators with more customization and control over their ecosystem. If you're unfamiliar, subnets are application-specific blockchains within the wider Avalanche ecosystem. Each subnet can have its own purpose, its own set of validators, and its own level of security. Subnet validators must also validate the main Avalanche blockchain. Now, the key difference is that if subnet validators for participating subnets choose to stake the subnet's native token, they will be able to earn rewards in that token. So projects building on Avalanche, kind of like we see projects building on Ethereum, can now earn rewards in that next layer's native token. Validators will still need to stake AVAX tokens too, which is why they make our list today, which will be required for the upcoming native cross subnet messaging feature. This upgrade is huge for Avalanche. Their ecosystem's only getting bigger and better. If you like Avalanche, if you hold Avalanche, like the video, let's move on to coin four. Next coin making our list has just launched. It's being touted as a Solana killer. Now, some of its tokenomics are in question, but I think it has a lot going for it. And it's just a fact, the biggest gains of the next cycle are going to come from the newer coins that are fresh for that cycle and not necessarily coins that have been around forever. There's less risk with coins that have been around for longer, but the biggest gains will come from coins like this. Solana Killer Aptos launches its highly anticipated mainnet. The VC-backed Layer 1 solution was built by Facebook slash Meta alums and touts a novel transaction ordering algorithm. If you're psyched to hear about newer coins, give this video a like and let me tell you about Aptos. With the secret sauce conjured in the bowels of Meta slash Facebook and a mission to provide, quote, the safest and most scalable L1 blockchain, 
Aptos launched its mainnet today, the culmination of four years of technical development and a $1 billion valuation. Leading exchange FTX, an Aptos investor, has already announced it will be listing the Aptos token. Dubbed a potential Solana killer by many, Aptos is the latest high-profile attempt to build the perfect blockchain for smart contracts, code that supports the sprawling world of NFTs, DAOs, and DeFi. In a nutshell, what makes Aptos unique? In testing, Aptos claims it has handled 130,000 transactions a second compared to 30 per second on Ethereum. Kind of a vanity metric, but also key to the nascent Aptos ecosystem is the affiliated Move programming language, which prioritizes scarcity and control. This will not be the last time you hear about Aptos. Keep these guys on your radar. We'll be doing that moving forward. Altcoin number five on today's list is Solana for the very reason so many people are counting them out, yet they have so much going for them. Not only integrated with Coinbase Wallet, not only integrated with OpenSea, but this right here. Helios raises 3.1 million to make Solana app building faster and cheaper. The infrastructure startup hailing from former Coinbase and Amazon engineers built a streamlined Solana development platform, making it that much easier to build out Solana's ecosystem. Solana infrastructure startup Helios today announced that it has raised 3.1 million seed round in an effort to provide the tools to help developers build Web3 apps in less time and for less money. Co-founded by engineers formerly of Coinbase and Amazon, quote from the CEO regarding their mission and intention with this money and the Solana blockchain, the Solana blockchain is quite hard to work with and understand, especially compared to Ethereum. We're trying to simplify blockchain data and make it easy to work with and build on top of. It will allow developers to build much faster and cheaper. My hope is that people who are intimidated by crypto development and people who are coming over from Web 2 to Web 3 will have a much smoother, easier, and faster onboarding experience to crypto, but also Solana specifically as well. So don't count Solana out. It's one of the blue chips going into next cycle. Altcoin number six is Polygon. It makes our list today for a couple different reasons. Number one, Reddit users created 3 million crypto wallets on Polygon to scoop up the Reddit avatar Polygon NFTs. In addition, and it just seems like Polygon is making partnerships with so many big players, Polygon is taking Nubank from Web 2 to Web 3 in a strategic partnership with Polygon. Nubank is launching its own chain using Polygon Supernets and thus its digital token Nucoin on Polygon. This move will open the gateway for 70 million new bank users to use the Web3 space, specifically on Polygon. These are the details. Nubank, a fintech bank in Brazil, announced the creation of the Nucoin token on Polygon blockchain October 19th, paving the way for a rewards program for its 70 million clients across Latin America. The company said that the token will be available in the first half of 2023 and it will recognize customer loyalty and engagement with the bank products without cost or fees for its users. The tokens can be redeemed for perks and discounts on select products, but for all those reasons and more, Polygon makes our list. If you like Polygon, let me know in the comments below. Altcoin number seven, making our list today, is Ethereum. Is Ethereum an altcoin? Let me know in the comments below, but there's a lot to look forward to when it comes to being an Ethereum holder. Fidelity Digital Assets just announced that they will be offering the ability to buy, sell, and transfer Ethereum starting October 28th. In addition, and if you subscribe to our channel, you know, Ethereum has the greatest market share out of all the L1s. It's the biggest in the game besides Bitcoin, so we can highlight different things going on on other chains, but Ethereum has all of that and more. Awesome. This NFT house just sold for $175,000 worth of Ethereum over the weekend. Holding the NFT gives you ownership of the actual house in South Carolina. The company that made it happen is Roofstock, and you can view the traits on OpenSea. This is what the listing looked like on OpenSea. The different properties, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the city. Somebody bought the NFT for Ethereum, and then they got the rights to the house.
Altcoin number eight making our list is Tezos. Shopify integrating Tezos. Shopify users can get their hands on Tezos NFTs with a new partnership. The Tezos NFT ecosystem gained a lot of traction over the past year due to its low cost of minting and energy efficiency. Tezos still in the game. This is a quality partnership. Tezos makes our list. Binance altcoin makes our list. Binance, along with Coinbase and FTX, are the three largest crypto companies in the space. Potentially the next Amazon, the next Microsoft, the next Google, if cryptocurrency adoption is to continue, which I think it will. And Binance positioning themselves very well. Binance delegates 13.2 million uni tokens, becoming Uniswap DAO's second largest vote holder. Altcoin number 10 making our list today is Cardano. If you like Cardano, let me know why in the comments below. The reason why I like Cardano is because their ecosystem continues to grow. Numbers don't lie. Cardano dApps have seen significant increase in user activity over the last 30 days and even in the last five days. Cardano activity is growing. NFT volume hit 3 million and 2.8 million ADA on the 17th and 18th of October, solidifying Cardano as the third largest NFT protocol. Network transactions on the 19th hit 97,000, up 75% month over month. Even their DEX volume, the highest in half a year, at 3 million daily. Which cryptocurrencies should I have added to today's list? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We drop a video every day. See you tomorrow.